Hi everybody, Andrea here. So I have been a teeth whitening technician for almost 19 years now. I was a dental assistant. I'm now a dental hygienist. I whiten teeth as a teeth whitening technician. And I even have my own mobile dental hygiene practice where I clean teeth in people's homes and I offer teeth whitening too, of course. But what has always been the way is people coming to me, people emailing me, messaging me saying, I want to open up my own teeth whitening business, but I'm not allowed to. This this person says this, we're only allowed to do this in my state. We're only allowed to go to the dental office. Like what's the big deal? What's happening? So the problem with that is yes, you might have certain laws, but guess what? Somebody down the street or somebody downtown is probably offering teeth whitening. They're making a great, a great living. They have a great business. They're making great money. Um, and you're like, oh my goodness. So I'm not allowed to do it, but then why is this person allowed to do it? So let me explain why there's such a big deal around it, why you do have to be careful, but I'm also going to explain why nearly anybody can be a teeth whitening technician, even if you think in your state you can't, but I'm going to tell you why, okay? So please stick around. So basically, there's a big hoopla about it, because think about it, you don't want this random person down the street to start their own teeth whitening business, and they haven't taken any infection control courses, they don't put two and two and two together, like, oh, maybe I should wear gloves, maybe I should wear a mask, because I'm going to be working in somebody's mouth. Maybe those cheek retractors that I put in the mouth, I shouldn't use on every single person. Can you imagine? Or maybe when I'm working inside somebody's mouth, applying those peroxides, that brush that I use to apply the peroxides on, oh, I'm okay to use that in everybody's mouth, right? As long as I disinfect it with like Lysol or something. That's the thing. You might be, be listening to me and saying, oh my God, that sounds horrible. Do people really think like that? People probably do think like that. That's why there has to be laws in place that not just anybody can start their own business. Not just anybody can be inside the mouth because you can make somebody sick if, for, for example, somebody's not taking the medical history, they're using cheek retractors on somebody who has a, a communicable disease or any disease, and maybe they just wash the cheek retractors with soap and water even, and then they're putting it in the mouth of somebody else. Well, that's not good enough. That's not going to disinfect. That's not going to kill certain bacteria that needs to be killed. Anyway, I'm not here to scare people, but this is why there's so many issues around is teeth whitening legal where I live. If you take an infection control course, such as you learn about why we wear masks, why we wear gloves, why we have to wash our hands, why certain items are disposable, certain items you can sterilize, but are you going to buy a $10,000 sterilizer? Probably not. You need to learn these things so you understand why you're throwing out certain, certain items and then why certain items can be disinfected, such as the shade guide. When we check the shade of the teeth, we don't have to throw that out. We just simply wipe it with disinfectant because it's not going inside the mouth. You're not even touching it to the tooth. You're just kind of like placing it over here. I wish I had a shade guide to show you, but I didn't think ahead. So certain things can be disinfected and certain things have to be thrown out. But that's another thing. Do you disinfect with soap and water? No, it has to be medical wipes, medical disinfecting wipes. All of this you learn inside a course. Once you learn all of this inside a course, not only the infection control side of things, but also how to do teeth whitening, how to work with chemicals, which is the peroxides, right? Peroxides are chemicals, you guys. I'm sorry, but they are. We're applying peroxides to the teeth that can burn the gums, that can burn the lips if you're not careful. This is why you have to take a course. And then when you're certified as a teeth whitening technician, this means you have passed everything you need to pass to be safe and effective for your clients. You can't say, oh, sorry, I burned the lip off. I mean, that's an extreme example, but sorry, I burned the lip off. I didn't know what I was doing. Well, guess what? You are certified as a teeth whitening technician. That's on you then. If you forgot that class or if you just, you know, we have to take responsibility. We have to take accountability. But that also means anybody can open up their teeth whitening business because teeth whitening isn't regulated. It's simply not. You can't start cleaning teeth. 
that is something different. That is regulated. There are associations. There's no teeth whitening association. I might not be explaining it properly, but anybody can open up their teeth whitening business. As long as you've, ta you've taken classes, you are certified and you're doing it safely and effectively for your client. And this is also because anybody can buy peroxides off of Amazon off of anything online, but guess what? They're not going to be safe peroxides. So they're going to buy it themselves, put it on themselves, and they're probably going to hurt themselves because people can sell anything over the counter these days. It's very, very sad. But what you want is an FDA approved teeth whitening product. That's what you get through taking corsets. So even if you're doing the teeth whitening on yourself and then you start doing it on other people, you know you are working with a good product that is FDA approved. You've been trained to apply it and you can help other people. Um, a little side note, those states that are very specific and say that you can perform the teeth whitening if the client does it themselves, well, I have another video all about this, but basically I say, so are you going to sit back as the trained teeth whitening technician, cross your arms and say, okay, you have to do this yourself. Nobody's going to pay you. They don't know what they're doing. It's so much safer for you who's trained to assist them in doing it and to do it for them. Is the patient going to tell on you because you did the whitening themselves um, you helped them do the whitening or are they going to tell on you if you make them do the whitening themselves and they burn their gums everywhere because they don't know what they're doing? Look at the different scenarios. Please reach out to me if you have any questions, you guys. But this is why. And it's very exciting to have your own teeth whitening business. So don't let other people do it. And you're kind of sitting on the sidelines going, well, they can do it, but I'm going to, you know, I read something somewhere that I can't, but they can do it. Well, they can do it because they're probably trained and certified. If they're not, they should really get in trouble because you do have to be careful, right? But keep in mind, if they're hurting clients in a way where they're burning the lips and gums, guess what? The clients aren't going to go back to them. They're going to seek somebody else, right? So you being trained, certified, I don't just teach you guys how to whiten the teeth safely and effectively and in infection control courses. I teach you guys how to run a successful business too. I teach you guys how to get clients, how to market, how to advertise. I talk about business cards. I talk about social media. So you not only are a teeth whitening technician, but you can have a successful teeth whitening business as well. I offer full support for life. So if you take a course with the Whitening Pro Academy, you're not left on your own. You can literally have my support for life. We have a, a group on Facebook where we can all talk together if you ever have questions or need anything. So, and I've been doing this for 19 years, so I can definitely help you and I want you guys to succeed. This is truly my passion, is helping other people start their own businesses because it's the best thing that I've ever done and who doesn't want their teeth whitened. You're helping so many people, you, you get paid very very, very well, depending on where you're located. It could be $100 per person or $200 even, depending on the additional things you offer. So you can get paid very well. You can have your own hours, the whole work. So this is truly the best thing. The best thing is to have your own teeth whitening business and get started now, not later. You're the only one stopping yourself from having such a happy life, as corny as that sounds, and having a very happy, successful business and helping other people. You know, when their teeth are whiter, they feel better, they look better, they're more confident. So you're helping other people too. So you guys, I hope this helps to clear everything up. Let me know if any questions. I am always here to help. Comment below and I'll talk to you guys soon. The Whitening Pro Academy enrollment is now open. You can go to www.whiteteethschool.com. Link is down below and reach out to me if you need anything. Thank you guys and have a great day.